everybody, it's Norma. Welcome back to Crafted by Norma. I thought today I'd show you a couple of envelope journals that I've completed. This time I've used black envelopes rather than the manila envelopes. They're seven and a quarter by five and a quarter and both these journals are now available in my Etsy shop and I'll give you a quick flip through so you can see uh, what it is I've achieved. Uh, I quite like the fact that the black highlights and frames the uh, the images that I've used. So on this one uh, and the other one to be fair I've used papers from the uh, Hackney & Co um, paper company. Uh, it's the craft compendium um, site that I got it from and there is some beautiful uh, papers uh, in here to, uh, to use. Um, really nice uh, images and some very luxurious papers. So they're the papers that I've gone and used as a base for both of the journals. So we start off with the front cover, just to, it's just layered up, and the back cover I've just gone and put an image of a flower and some of the, uh, the writing paper that comes in the packs. Turning it over, we've got a corner pocket here with a little cluster of bits and bobs. I quite like doing these little uh, these little clusters. And then in here is an envelope and a journaling card. And on this side we've got a belly band, uh, a small envelope, botanical uh, seed envelope, one of my little um, paper clip uh, holders, a tag and an index card. On, on that one, that just slots into there. Whoops, like, like what it's supposed to, like so. This is actually my second attempt at trying to do this video. Uh, I made an attempt a bit earlier on, and my son and grandson landed on me. So, grandson's only two, so you can imagine it was a bit chaotic. So, I uh, started again. So, on the next page here, we've got a tuck space with a paper clip and a little tag that I've made from a botanical uh, label and another little cluster an uh, invoice, a vintage invoice and a little uh, post uh, uh, envelope there just tied with string and then I've got put in here just one uh, signature made up of coffee stain papers, bags, papers from a journal, a book page, uh, music score, uh, handmade paper. So just a selection of papers to journal on. And because they're hand sewn inside, I've just gonna put a little label made out of the, uh, the papers with a one inch um, circle uh, cut out there. And then the other side here, we've got a journaling card and a botanical specimens envelope and the flower is actually out of uh, out of my garden so that the words don't correspond to the plant that I've put in there there we go and then on just on this edge here I've gone to put a uh, small pocket for this little tag to go in there and it's just made from craft paper in there and then turning over we've got a little pocket that I've made with a small envelope that tucks into there Whoops! and then this lovely image of an iris, I think it's an iris, I'm sure it is, uh, which I think is really really pretty and just some coffee stain paper as a journaling card uh, slots in there and then on this side we've got another corner pocket, different style and then I've got a little tag there with a paper clip and another botanical uh, tag there. And that just holds a journaling card with some butterflies and a, another botanical uh, envelope just, just slots into, uh, into there. That plant is actually from my next door's garden. I did ask. She, she did say yes. So pop that in there, I thought it was quite nice, the yellow, especially with the little yellow cluster that I've gone, and, uh, I've gone and done there. And then turning over and we've got 
a flip out so this actually flips out into three pages so the first one we've got a belly band with a little cluster that's on there and in here I've gone and put a seed envelope now these envelopes and the tags are from uh, Tracy at uh, I think it's Love Journaling uh, off her website as a digital uh, download uh, little journaling card and then that's just a uh, invoice from uh, 1940 that one I think it was one of the Tim Holtz papers if I'm honest so that just slots in there and then here I thought what I'd do is just make a little notepad so you can actually add more papers to it I've just put two holes there for some papers and you can add those uh, papers uh, more if you want or just to exchange it and then on this side we've got a hidden pocket there and I've just put some of the craft card in and an envelope a small cluster and then some paper with a faux wax uh, seal there to, uh, to pop into there like so and those right in uh, match and match with that and then turning over we've got another belly band here which matches this side and it's just got a journaling tag and a black tag for photos and that brings us to the back of the book so I just thought they were quite nice they were just a bit different to the other ones that I've done because the other ones I've always used the manila uh, envelopes so the second one that I've completed basically the, the, the same uh, layout only this time I've gone and used one of my layered uh, front tags which uh, I've uh, put a video um, on how to make these out of uh, papers and that's just a chevron with an image from one of the uh, the papers in there which I think looks quite uh, quite quite pretty and then the first page again, one of the corner pockets with a small little cluster and a tag and a journaling card there, tucked away. And in here, another one of those lovely images of the iris, uh, some paper and the uh, faux wax seal. And then here we've got another little pocket. So on this one I've added the tag here just a double sided tag with one of the uh, the bulb pins and then turning over we've got a bocking, uh, bottom pocket gosh that was hard to say with an index card a little seed envelope and again one of the botanical uh, specimen envelopes and again that's a plant out of my my garden Again, these are from uh, Tracy's uh, site, so thank you, Tracy. Um, and I've just put a piece of uh, plastic over of there that came from some packaging that I had. Then we've got the signature, very si similar to the other book, where we've got coffee stain paper, a bag, paper from a um, a book, etc., etc. And then we've got a tuck there with some journaling um, invoice there tied with the, with some string and another little image there for you to uh, journal on Oops, it's not letting me do that is it there we go it just slots into there like so and then here we've gone and put one of the little tiny pieces of paper there with a paper clip and then just uh, a tag there on that side and then here we've got a corner pocket which is made out of a, a black envelope uh, another cluster there another um, botanical envelope and then a little journaling card using the teacups like so and then this side we've got a pocket a cluster uh, that one there has got one of the um, invoice sheets and another little uh, envelope that slots into there 
like so. And then this one opens out like this. So that's our three page one. They uh, very flat there, journaling card and an envelope. And on this side, we've got a tuck spot with a little cluster there that holds everything uh, in place with a tag and a journaling card. And again, on this one, we've got a pocket here with a journaling card just tucked in there. There's a secret little pocket. And turning over to this side, I've just made here just a little uh, notebook there with some pages from uh, an old diary. In. And again, I've gone and done it so you can uh, add to it if you want to with the, um, the twine there. A little cluster in the centre, a little pocket where you can slot things in. And then here's a little journaling card that uh, is there. And as I say, you've got a little tuck spot there that that tucks into. Like so. And that brings us to the back of that book. So just thought it was a different way of doing my uh, envelope journals. So I've done another couple here um, ready to do my next journals uh, and I'm heading towards doing a, a steampunk version uh, but I'm hoping to do a larger steampunk book that one of them will slot into. So this is work in progress this is one of my journals that um, I've made. So you can see this finished. And I'm hoping to put a steampunk one of these into the uh, the back of the book. Sort of there like that. So that's something that I'm working on uh, at the moment. So uh, that's the start of uh, the start of start of it. So it's, as I say, it's uh, it's work in progress at the moment. So as soon as they're finished, I can uh, show you a, uh, a flip through. But I just thought that the black envelopes actually framed the journals themselves. Do hope you've enjoyed having a quick flip through and had some uh, ideas uh, and hopefully some inspiration. If you did enjoy it, please give me the thumbs up. And uh, thank you for all those that subscribed already and um, hopefully you'll subscribe too. Look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks. Bye.